Poppin' Tea Squad, it's your girl Keisha, and I'm here with tonight's All Tea, All Shade, Claw Season 2, Episode 6 Review. So we start off tonight's episode with Desna at the hospital, all in her feelings, because you know she just found out about Gregory and Zlata fucking. So everybody's noticing that she's a little off. She gets up because she's starting to cry. Roller follows her and like, what's up, Des? Like, you good? And she um asked him, did he know about Gregory? He like, he was like, yeah, I did. And she like, really, nigga? Like, you wasn't going to tell me that? Like, she pissed. So Bryce suddenly flatlines. Jen is hysterical. She got blood all over her. She blamed Desna for trusting Zlata and getting Bryce shot. And she was like, it's all your fault. It's your fault. And Desna like, Okay, girl, calm down. Let me just leave because this is a hostile environment. So she runs off. Desna then goes back to the mansion and wakes Dean out of his sleep. And ain't nothing worse when somebody wake, uh, wake you up out your good sleep. And tell them they got to make an escape. They about to get in their old Honda and they about this bitch. The doctor tells Jen that Bryce is in a coma and that he's in critical condition. Zlata asks Gregory what's going on with the wedding plans. Because once he marries Desna, everything that she has will become community property. So I'm like, what are they after? Are they after her nail shop? Because that's, I mean, that's the only thing Desna owns that's even worse than So I'm guessing that's what they want. Maybe they want her building to buy it and well to get it and turn that into a clinic as well i'm trying to figure it out so she tells him that they need to go to the hospital and kill uncle daddy before they come for her and he basically said her to calm your ass down Rolla pulls up to zlata crib knocks on the door he's like you know i need to talk to you she's like hold on just a second and she makes um what's the nigga name gregory walk out the room and so Roller busts in the room and immediately grab that bitch and slam her face on the table because he want to kill her for what she did to Uncle Daddy. She's like, Bright, I mean, Boris, Boris. <laughs> Boris come running down the steps, tackle Roller. They fighting each other all on the ground and shit. And she threatens, uh, Roller threatens to kill her and then she threatens to kill his son. He like, bitch, that's your grandson. And she like, so? Olga got to make more children. <laughs> and I was like, damn, she a savage. So, Desna on the highway getting the fuck out of dodge she goes to the beach and she just hallucinates she crying she just all over the place she is having a mental breakdown then he like desna what is going on he drag out the ocean he like girl calm down i'm supposed to be the one with problems not you so she dropped to her knees and he pick her up and tell her everything gonna be all right and she he, you know he's like i want to go home i just want to go home and she like you know what you're right we're going home but She's not talking about their old house. They go to a woman by the name of Miss Wallace's house who used to be one of their foster care uh, parents. But the house is boarded up and it's being sold. Desna, however, say fuck that and she break into the house anyway and make Dean follow her. So, Quiet Ann asks everybody at the shop, have they heard from De Desna? And everybody like, nah. Zlata comes in and asks why Desna didn't show up today morning meeting. And they cover for her and say that she's sick. And she like, you know, well, tell her she better make sure that stomach feeling all right tomorrow. Because I need to talk to her. So, Polly and Quiet Ann leave Virginia to watch the shop by herself. And she's all excited until a group of kids coming to the shop. Desna and Dean reminisce around the house. She thinks back on their uh mama coming to get them and how they didn't want to go and they wanted to stay with miss wallace and miss wallace told desna to come look for her if she ever needed her and that she has a light inside of her that shines bright all over the world or some old poetic ass shit she told young desna so desna learns from the next door neighbor that miss wallace's daughter karina works at the school around the corner so they go to see karina so they can find out information on miss wallace Virginia asks Uncle Daddy Boo Thang. I do not know that guy's name and his little friend they help with the girls. Now they both, you know, dressed up and they BDSM hard word, trans, you know, drag outfits or whatever. So the kids look at them like, what in the hell is going on here? So Hank comes to the hospital to visit Jen. I'm like, girlfriend, that was not a smart idea. Like, who shows up? to the hospital to give a bear to the woman that they were fucking that was married to somebody like Hank is crazy. Hank is obsessed with the puss and he is coming at you Jen. So she like what are you doing here? She holding the casserole she got blood all over her. She like what are you doing here crazy? He like you know I just wanted to see you. She like you got to go. You got to go Hank Roller sees him and walks up like you know my favorite Jew. Like what's up nigga and pop that nigga in his motherfucking shit. He get the whoop in his ass and he tell Hank to get the fuck up out of there. 
Gene like, leave Hank, go. So he walked away like, I got my on you, bitch. <laughs> you should have never fucked me. It's all good. Because we all learned this episode that Jen got that magic puss. So Uncle Daddy is praying at Bryce's bedside. Roland and Jen tell him that Zlata is coming to the hospital to kill him. But he don't care. He make them pray with him and begs God to spare Bryce's life. Ken is wearing a wire when he goes to see Uncle Daddy in the hospital. He's trying to pull out information, but he's just horrible at it. Polly tells Quiet Ann that she likes working for Zlata, and Quiet Ann, like, girl, really? Like, she just shot Bryce. And she, like, Polly, like, you know, I just found my calling. This is, I've never, you know, found myself in a job like this before. Um, loved Quiet Ann's space buns, by the way. So cute. I might do my hair like that next week. So she reminds Polly that they have to all stick together. Desna and Dean go to the school. And Dean spots his old favorite tree and it makes Desna think back on when she was a young girl and how she tried to protect him from a group of kids that was making fun of him and she got pushed down to the ground uh, because of it. And in that scene, her real life daughter, Nisi Ness, real, real life daughter, Dia, played the younger Desna. She did a fantastic job. Dia is such a gorgeous girl. I remember when Nisi Nash had a reality show. I think it was on TLC back in the day. And I loved it. And I was so mad when they did not come back for a season two. Because the show was fucking hilarious. Dia and her daughter and her son were all crazy, funny, you know, kids. And Nisi and her husband had just gotten married. We got to see their marriage. And his son that he had with a previous relationship. And her mother loved that reality show. So, Jen decides it would be a great idea to fuck Bryce to get him to wake up. And the shit works. <laughs> That nigga wakes the fuck up. Roller walk in and say, that's a magic pussy, my nigga. Bottle that shit up. <laughs> Desna talks to Karina, asks where Miss Wallace is, and she finds out her location and they go there. So Desna tells Miss Wallace, you know, you know, remember what you said when I left about me having that light inside of me? And Miss Wallace said, girl, that was just some shit. I tell all the kids when they leave. <laughs> she tells Desna, though, to remember who she is, and she's always been a fighter. Roller sees the Russians pulling up to the hospital and they walk in and Boris see like a couple of men that look like Uncle Daddy so he can't really decipher who is who. So he walk up on this man that he figures is Uncle Daddy and sticks in the neck with this drug to knock him the fuck out or kill him or whatever the shit was. But he realizes it's the wrong damn man. But Virginia leaves Desna a message saying that, you know, being her is no joke and she learned a lot running the shop by herself that day and she really see that being a businesswoman is hard. Rolla and Uncle Daddy talk, and Rolla wants to turn themselves into Chip, but Uncle Daddy refuses. Rolla like, look, Zata said she was going to kill my kid. He like, my grandson? So he's like, all right. So he pull out his phone, he called Chip, and leave him a message saying they need to get together and talk. But little do they know, on the main floor, Gregory is watching their whole entire conversation while he's on the phone with Zlata. He asks her, has she heard from Desna? She like, nah. He like, I right, bet. I'm going to go check on her myself later. So Desna is jumping rope with her younger selves and remembering that, basically, I'm a badass bitch. And these niggas got me fucked up. So then she tell Dean, we about to go home. Desna returns to the hospital in full glam, got her ponytail on, you know what I'm saying? Got her jumpsuit, titties pushed up, and Jen rushes to her and hugs her and says, you know, I didn't mean what I said. Des Desna was like, you missed some of it, and you were absolutely right. I shouldn't have trusted them. Zlata and Gregory are playing me. She says, you know, she's going to talk to Uncle Daddy, and that Gregory and Zlata can't know that they're on to them. Jen like, girl, I got your back. I'm your ride or die. Gregory walk up, and they both play it cool. He try to kiss Desna on the lip, but she bite that nigga back on his lip. And he like, what the fuck is that? She's like, you ain't know all that kinky shit I'm into. <laughs> and so she gets a phone call from Zlata. She's like, but you know what? I'm going to talk to you later, boo-boo. Bye. So Arlene tells Ken that he is the worst informant ever. And he learns that he and Polly won't be going to witness protection together. He'll be going alone unless they're married. Desna goes to Zlata's office and she tells her that Uncle Daddy deserves to be taught a lesson and that she has her back. Desna leaves but overhears Zlata on the phone with Chip and she tells Chip to finish Uncle Daddy off. Desna hurries and calls Uncle Daddy and asks where he is. And he's like, I'm handling some business right now. And she tells him, you know, don't meet up with Chip because he's turned. But he hang up the phone or whatever. Chip pulls up and Uncle Daddy immediately just pull out his gun and shoot that nigga in the chest and he fly back on the car and that nigga's dead to the motherfucking bed. I was like, yes, Uncle Daddy. So Desna, Uncle Daddy, and Rolla go to her old house where Polly is currently staying and Uncle Daddy will be hiding out there 
he's surprised that Desi even called him to give him the drop on Chip. She tells them that she called Uncle, uh, that she called Gregory and Zlata together, and they're up to some shit. Uncle Daddy say to Roller, I told you that Ruval was dirty. It was a dirty, dirty double crosser. <laughs> and Desi say, what is it that you all are not telling me? Roland say, you know, we made a deal with Ruval to take out the rushes. Desna goes to fuck off and tells him they owe her and that they gonna help her take out the rushes, but they gonna do shit her way. So she leave out and Rola runs after her. Jean at the hospital with Bryce and the kids, but little does she know outside, Hank crazy ass is watching her every move. And I was like, girl, that's what you forget for putting uh, that trailer park pussy on that nigga. So Rola follows Desna back to the mansion. She tells him that she thought you know they were better than that and that he should have told her everything that was going on he apologized he's like i'm sorry dad she's like you know what you are sorry get the fuck out of my face so he leaves she walk up on the steps and on the porch there's a box from gregory's mother with the wedding dress inside so um ken comes home to find uncle daddy staying there he takes polly in the back and proposes to her she like calm down sis he like you know i want us to move to a small town together change our name she's like what are you talking about i have found my calling calling i'm a criminal i love this shit i'm a mad damn little does she know he got a wire on him and arlene and them is hearing all of this so he about to fuck polly whole shit up because you know polly is already you know in the system and can easily go back to jail and i'm like god damn it ken so desna we see at the end of the episode is burning the wedding dress and then they panning on her eyes and the flames from the fire from the fire are in her eyes because you know she is a woman scorn and she is coming for blood and the episode goes off i give tonight's episode of claws a b plus it was very good it was emotional it had some funny ass moments can't wait to see what next week brings. The season is almost over. It's only 10 episodes. This season has went by so fast. Can't wait to see how everything is going to conclude. Let's talk down below in the comment section. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe to my channel. And hit that notification bell button. Love you guys so much. Love you. Bye.